Hey, this is Brock Mears, and in this video, I'm going to talk about standard input in C using the scanf function. All right, so at this point, we've looked at how to do standard output using printf, which means printing information back to the terminal or back to the shell. That's what standard out is. Standard out is basically <clears throat> the monitor through a terminal. <clears throat> but wouldn't it be nice to be able to read information from the terminal too? So have a user actually type in information. And it turns out that we can do that. So the first function we always look at within uh, C is called scanf. Scanf is good for reading in single characters uh, from, the, from the command line, and it exists in the standard I.O. header file. So just like printf, scanf is also there in order to allow you to read in information. The way that it works is that the, the keyword or the, the terminology, the syntax is scanf, and then you open parentheses. Then in, in double quotes, you put what is coming in, and you give it the format specifier of how to encode it. Okay, so if I do this, I'm expecting essentially an integer to come in. And then what happens is you put it into a variable. All right, this is now new syntax that we haven't, we don't have to understand it yet, but this symbol means this is the location of a. So what it does is this is called a pointer and we will, we'll, this is pointer syntax and we'll cover this later. But ampersand means don't just, you know, don't go to take this information and put it in the address location of A. All right. So that is the way that scanf is defined. We have to feed in the variable name of what we want using this ampersand so that it tells scanf the actual address of where this variable is set up. So you have to set up A as a variable and it's of the same type you're going to read it in as in this situation be int and then it will read in there. Okay. Again, if you don't put the ampersand in there, you'll get a, a you'll get a horrible error. And maybe we'll look at that. Yeah, you know, let's crash the computer. Okay, <laughs> let's go it along. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I have my terminals already logged into CSCI 109 server. Take a look where I'm at. Let's go ahead and change into the mod 03 code along folder that we've been working in. And then let's go ahead and start a new file, which is called standard in testing.c and let me pull that over so he doesn't wrap we'll go ahead and do that all right so now we're in vim we've created our file i'm going to go i to go into insert mode and let's put a comment header so playing with scan f and then let's set up the shell for our main function so i'm going to do pound include standard io.h that gives me the printf function it also gives me the scanf function and now let's go ahead and set up our shell for our main function so i go int main void curly come down here return zero close curly and now let's save it so i hit escape i hit colon to get into command mode i hit w to write it and now i have my file all right and i misspelled return <laughs> which is no problem. All right. Now I go ahead and return down here and I'm ready to start setting this up. So here's what I want to do. Let's go ahead and set up three variables. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to go, uh, let's set up one called a and let's make it of type int and notice I'm not going to initialize it because I'm going to read in information from the user. Let's set up another one called B and let's make it a type double. And then let's do another one uh that's called c and take it take it a type car okay and let's start by prompting the user to give us information all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to print out a message to the user and say please enter an integer for a okay and this is just a printf statement so i'm going to say print f and i'm going to say please please enter an integer for a all right and then that's it so it's just a message and nothing, nothing big here. And then I'm going to do scan F. And now I'm going to open this function up and I'm going to do the following. I would like to whatever they hit, as soon as they hit return, it's going to bring it in. OK. And so what comes in is I'm going to put it, I'm going to interpret it as a integer using the format specifier percent D. And then I'm going to put that in the location or the address of A. 
using that syntax. Again, you don't have to understand what the ampersand is. You do have to understand you need to use it. Now I have it. Let's print back what we received. So then you're going to say you entered a equals and then let's go boom D and then we'll do a line return and then we're done. And now let's print what is in a. Okay, I'm going to save that up and let's see what this does, see if it works. So now we're finally at a point. I'm down here. I have another terminal. I'm in my home directory. Let me change to my mod three code along folder. I go ahead and do LS and I've got all these files in here, but I'm working on this standard in testing. So I'm going to go GCC standard in. I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete since it's the only thing in there, starting with standard in and then I'll go dash O. Watch this. I'm going to go standard in testing dot C. And now I want to direct it to, to just standard in testing. So I delete the .c. Let's go ahead and hit go. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do warnings all. It's going to complain, hey, you're not using B or C. It's like, I know. So let's go ahead and compile it without wall. Let's clear it. And now I'm ready to run it. So I'm going to run this thing. I'm doing standard in testing. And here we go. Ready? Return. Please enter an integer for A. I'm going to do 22. Or let's do, yeah, 22. I hit enter, you entered 22. Holy moly, it worked. <laughs> do it again, let's go 109. It worked, let's do it again. How about negative 99? It worked. Now let's do 3.14, didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Well, it's because you entered 3.14, but it read it in as an integer because you used the format specifier and you put it into an int data type. <laughs> but you did read it in from the user. Okay, now let's try this. Here is where the, a little bit of frustration comes from when you start using printf. I'm going to do another one and I'm going to say bring in uh, a real number for B and then a character for C. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you how to do a copy. And, mm, yeah. Yes, you're ready. You're ready. Here I go. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a copy of a block. Okay. So I hit escape and I put the, the mouse or the cursor where I want to copy. I'm gonna copy these three lines of code. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna enter into a mode called visual. So I'm gonna hit V. And notice how visual pops up right here. At this moment, I can hit a down arrow and it'll highlight the lines that I want to copy. So I highlight all three of those and I'm gonna hit Y for yank. And it grabbed five lines. Then you arrow down to where you want to put them and you just hit P and then you come down here again and hit P and you have now copied and pasted blocks of code. You did it. All right. So now we got, we did that because we're going to do, please enter a real num for real num or B. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna read that in as, now it's a double, so I'm gonna read it in as a long float. Float doesn't actually work as a format specifier in scanf, so you gotta use long float. So then we're gonna do, put that in B, and then I'm gonna say for B, go ahead and do float, uh, long float, be consistent, and then we'll do B. All right, so that one should work. And now let's come in here, please enter a car, for let's see all right come down here read it in as a car and then we'll do c and then you entered c equals format specifier for character is percent c and c all right so now we're getting a program where it's like this might not work right so this the syntax we think we got it right so please enter an integer for a please enter a real number for b please enter a character for c and then i do scan f and I did percent %d for integer format specifier, percent %lf for format specifier for a double, percent %c for a character, and then I did and percent %a, and percent %b, and percent %c, and then I said you entered abc, percent %d format specifier, percent %lf format specifier, format %c format specifier. This should work. So let's take a look at what's going to happen here. So I come down here and I'm going to compile this up, and it worked. And then if I do it with wall on, it should not give any errors because everything's, we use all our variables. Let me clear this up and I'm gonna run this. So I'm gonna do 
ls to see what's in here sunny holland we need look in this folder for the executable and i do standard in testing enter an integer for a so i'm gonna say 109 enter an integer for b 3.14 and it exited <laughs> what happened okay here's what happens with scanf it's very frustrating but it, it you just got to know what it is <clears throat> when you hit return after a number what happens is that it reads the number in it reads the return in as part of this string okay so it no, excuse me excuse me so when i typed 3.14 in return it actually entered the return character in the c location okay and so it's like it grabs that return stroke and you're like ah how do i handle this well the way you handle it is you actually just put a space in front of this and that will ignore the return okay so let's let's do this now so let me see if i can get this working um so gcc and then standard in so 109 3.14 and then b and it's like okay it worked that time now you're sitting there going what in the world when does this happen what happens when you have a sequence of scan f's okay so let's let's try this again and put the space in there but it's only like after the double <laughs> so you just gotta know that if you ever have this weird thing that happens where it like jumps over one of your things you gotta put a space in front of it okay all right now that's fine so let's go ahead and run this make sure oh boy if I ever get in trouble, just hit Control C. Let me clear this up. Let's slow down here. We're going crazy. So let's go ahead and compile this again. And then let's go ahead and run it. And let's make sure everything's cool. So I'm going to go 109 and then 3.14 and then B. And everybody's happy. Happy, happy. Okay. Life is good. You can actually bring in two things on the same line. And you can actually tell it to be space delimited or uh in order to cut them apart so let me let me let's do an example right here i'm gonna actually put my variables down here so that you can see it which is actually allowed and see you can define a variable in in the main function anywhere so let me do this i'm going to do int voltage current and then what i'm going to do is let's do this print f enter voltage and current and then i'll do space okay Life is good. And then what I'm going to do is say scan F, scan F, and then I'm going to say bring in two integers. So I'm going to go integer sp space integer, and then I'll do ampersand voltage, ampersand current, save it, and then say print F, and let's print it back to what it is. You entered V equals percent D and i equals percent d and then we'll return it we'll do two returns this time and then i'll say voltage and current and let me pull this over so that you can it doesn't wrap and let's save this and now let's think about what we just did so i created two integer data types one called voltage one called current i reserve two locations in memory to hold an integer data type I said, go ahead and enter it, but I'm uh, want you to do it space delimited, so by design, and then I'm gonna scan F and I'm gonna read the first as an integer until I see a space, then I'll read the second as an integer and I'll put it at the location of where voltage is and the location of where current is, and then I'll print it back. So now this is to test whether or not I can read information in on the same line. And the answer is, yeah, I can. So let me save this one more time. And then we'll come down here and I'll go pop, 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 GCC. All right, clear it up. And now let's run this and check it out. We still have our ones from before. So 109, 22.22, whatever, whatever, whatever. And now enter voltage and current. So I'm going to say 120 and 15 and boom you entered 120 and 15. so you can actually bring in multiple things per line scanf is is good for very simple things we'll learn later when we bring in lots of stuff that uh there's a better way to do it however this is how we can first start interacting with the user so we can say hey i'm going to write a program and i want the user to provide information for my variables instead of me creating them statically and so that's how you do it with scanf nice work and we'll see you